If you're one of the 20% of people on the minimum wage, you're probably doing it really tough right now. But luckily, the CEO of the NAB has some helpful tips for you. Those who are sitting on that minimum wage, if they're really not happy with their job, should start looking around. Just go and get another job. He also reckons that we can't raise the pitifully low rate of the minimum wage from $21 an hour because apparently it would increase inflation. But that's wrong. Our research actually shows the minimum wage could be increased by 7% with a virtually undetectable impact on inflation. It's also pretty rich coming from a man who makes nearly $4 million a year. Now his hourly rate of $1,900 an hour is actually 19 times the minimum wage. But apparently if other people start making just enough to get by, it would destroy the economy. Now that's pretty interesting coming from a man who runs a company that has been profiting very nicely off the increased interest rates that are supposedly controlling inflation. The last quarter, the big four banks made massive amounts of money, all increasing their profits by 11 to 22%. Similarly, we've got the big supermarkets of Coles and Woolies, they're raking it in with exorbitant price increases and increasing their profit margins well, we've got shoppers, especially those on minimum wage, forced to decide between medicines and rent. These big companies are inflating their profits at the expense of everyday Australians. So just remember, when you hear big companies like NAB saying that we can't afford to raise the minimum wage because it will set off inflation, remind them that it's their profits that are driving inflation. We should raise the minimum wage and it's time our lowest paid workers got a break.